Question number 10, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Broadcasting. Does he stand by the statement of the previous Minister of Broadcasting, the Honourable Jonathan Coleman, on the 30th of May 2012, in relation to the decision to scrap TVNZ7, quote, there was no plan for how TVNZ7 would be funded in the future? The Honourable Craig Foss. Yes. Uh, Claire Curran. Supplementary. In the light of that answer, who is correct? Him, when he said in answer to question 12 on Tuesday, quote, I understand that various proposals were put by various entities, including TVNZ, for various options for TVNZ7 and such things as levies to fund TVNZ7, unquote, or Jonathan Coleman, who said there weren't any proposals. The Honourable Craig Fox. Uh, Mr Speaker, the primary question uh, quotes, there was no plan, and I do stand by that decision. When I was answering the other day, there were various proposals put up, um, from various entities including, but I do note there was no proposal put up as part of the broadcasting policy for the Labour Party in the 2011. There was no mention of it. So there was no business case nor plan for TVNZ7. Clear current. Can he confirm once and for all for the House that Cabinet did consider options for further funding for TVNZ7 based on the paper prepared by his ministry on the 23rd of February 2011, but Cabinet disregarded the recommendations in those papers and decided no further funding be made available for TVNZ7? The Honourable Craig Speaker, I, can't, I do not know if... Cabinet disregarded those or not. Cabinet made a decision not to continue funding for TVNZ7, which was time-limited funding announced by the Labour government. Minister Mahari, in 2006, Labour announced both the opening and closing dates for TVNZ7. Clear current. In the light of the closure of TVNZ7 on Saturday, where does the Minister suggest New Zealand audiences will be able to access regular, free-to-air, commercial free local programming about politics, media, arts, science and literature, or an hour of commercial free news, or does he and his government not consider that this is important for New Zealand audiences? Mr Speaker, yeah, Honourable Craig Fox. I'm sure the New Zealand public will get most uh, entertainment and political dialogue from the parliamentary channel as they uh, observe and watch it uh, when Parliament's sitting. Question number 11. Point of order. Point of, oh, point of order, Claire Curran. Order. Uh, I seek order. leave to table uh, a document released through the Official Information Act to the Minister of Broadcasting, dated the 23rd of February 2011, titled The Future of TVNZ7 Revised Cabinet Paper Options. Uh, options for the Future of TVNZ Channel 7. Leave us sort to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number 11, Gareth Hughes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. 